Hello everyone, my name is Chaos in the Sky, and welcome to Pokemon Uranium version, something new I'm going to be doing on the channel. Uh, this obviously, as you can probably guess, is not an official Pokemon Nintendo game and whatnot. This was a fan-made game uh, that I believe has been about nine years in the making. It just recently was completed, and it's now uh, version 1.0. It was in a beta up to like beta... 9 or something like that, I'm not entirely sure, but it's a fully completed game now. It was just recently completed, and I've heard a lot of good things about it. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this game is uh, completely full of fake mon. If you don't know what fake mon are, they're basically Pokemon that were made by other people, not by Nintendo. But I've heard a lot of good things about this game, and I am really excited to get into it and see what it's all about. So, I also thought it would be a good idea. I haven't really been doing much Pokemon stuff on the channel lately, and I'm going to be doing Pokemon Sun when it comes out, so I thought, you know, this would be a good way to bring Pokemon back into the channel, jump back into Pokemon in general before Sun and Moon was released. Uh, apparently, the developers of this game are smarter than Nintendo and <laughs> allow you to have other save files, so that's really cool. Uh, I'm not missing any updates, am I? Nope. Not at all. Good. Uh, this game is a little difficult to find right now. Nintendo heard about the game and all that, and started uh, sending messages to the creators of the game asking them to... I don't think they actually asked them to take it down, but they were, like, kind of leading to that point. So the developers have taken down their download links for the game, so you can't get it from the official source anymore, but it's not that hard to find uh, someone else who's uploaded the game where you can download it. So just Google Pokemon Uranium Download. You should find it pretty easily. Uh, anyways, we only need one save file for this playthrough, so let's let's jump into the new game. Choose your game mode. They even have a Nuzlocke mode. Dude, these these people are geniuses. I'm just going to play in regular, because I've never been much of a Nuzlocke guy. Are you sure you want to play on this mode? Yes, I am. Huh? Who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh, look at this guy. This guy is... This guy looks really relaxed. My name is, uh, Bombo? Bembo? Bembao? I'm going to say Bembo and hope that I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. This guy knows. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? I'm getting a job in this game. Dude, I am a responsible responsible teenager. Uh, you want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? Nah, I think I'm good. Should be alright. What is that thing supposed to be? We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People in Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with the work, and still others are used in a battle, or in battle, by trainers such as yourself. But there's so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Ooh. Every Pokemon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. Okay. But why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? Oh, I'm sure. Ah, but I'll tell you more at your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. What's my job? Am I, like, the professor's assistant or something? Now, if you just fill out this form here... Oh, yeah, definitely, man. Uh, this is a... Oh, uh, dude, look! They've got, like, three different sprites. That's cool. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna go with this one. Yes, I am sure. Thank you. I'd like to know your name. Please tell me. Well, we know what name I'm gonna use for this. Uh, oh, let's try to actually type in on the keyboard. Uh, don't wanna go with Chaos. I think I'll just go with Chaos. It's a Pokemon game. I'll go with Chaos. I hit enter. Oh, there we go. Guess I didn't hit it hard enough the first time. My name is Chaos, yes, as far as you know. Chaos, are you ready? Your journey, your story is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go. Ten years ago, Chaos's family lived in Beal, Beal Beach? Beal Beach City. Uh, the largest city in Tandor, so apparently we're in the Tandor region for this game. Uh, their father, Kalen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. Whoa, wait a minute, is this actually the dude from, like, uh, the second Pokemon Ranger game, Shadows of Almia? Because it looks like him. Their mother, Lu Lucille? I'm gonna assume that it's Lucille. I'm just gonna call her mom. Was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Ooh, fancy. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with Young Chaos. The Tandor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. Ah, I can't see this ever going wrong. The future seemed bright, until... It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. 
As part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Oh, that looks like a main character on the right there. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. If everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer, or... The research- er, I almost said the researcher. The reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. That sounds dangerous. It can't be the thermometer. I just checked that. So... Oh, we're all gonna die. There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate, now! Dude, I like this music. Lucille, you have to leave too. Oh, is my mom gonna die in a freak accident? Lucille! Bail, dude, bail. With Cameron's help, all of the scientists were able to escape unscathed. Except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. Ha, huh, of course. I'm, I'm a protagonist. We can't have both of my parents intact. That would just be unreasonable. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable, uninhabitable, uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. That's less than ideal. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Keelan. What is that thing on Keelan's right eye? Does he have a scouter? Is he, is he from Planet Vegeta? His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. Ah, uh, great. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. Good for him. However, he became too busy to care for his child. Ah, oh, great. Now my dad's a douche. So young Chaos was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. How unfortunate. Ten years passed. Completely uneventful. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Ah, sweet. Two kids from Moki Town applied, Chaos and their childhood friend, Theo. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so, Chaos's journey began. Ah, here we go. Chaos, come downstairs. You're late. I'm liking the music in this game so far. It's my bed. I don't need to nap right now. I might need to nap, man. I like sleep. What is this? Is this a Wii? It's a Nintendo Wii U. Ah, next level. But I hear they're coming out with a new system soon. Ah, talking about the NX. Anything in item storage? Normally in Pokemon- yep, normally in Pokemon games you get something right off the bat. Usually a potion. Toss item? Oh, that's a cool feature. I don't think that's in normal Nintendo. It's a map of West Tandor. West only? Ooh. So we have two sides of the region. This map looks beautiful. Look at this thing. Okay, so I'm down here in Moki Town, and then we got Kevlar Town, and then now now Toke? Now Toach? I don't know. Uh, what is this? Passage Cave, okay. Over here is Amatry Town, uh, Barol Town. What is this? Tin Baikal Forest, Comet Cave, Rochefail Town, Fall, whatever. I can't pronounce words, man. Roach Falls Tunnel, uh, Legend Town, Championship Site, uh, Tinkerer's Workshop sounds interesting, uh, Vinoville Town, and it's got a church there, okay. What is this? Vinoville Lake, is that what that is? Uh, Beal Beach City, that's where I'm from, apparently. It's got a casino! Dude, I miss my old home. What is this right here that it's not popping up? Tandor Sheets? Is that... I don't know. And then I guess I can't look over at East Tandor yet. Okay, cool. Well, uh, how do I back out of this? Wait a minute. What button do I press to get out of the map? Oh, no. Pressing space doesn't work. Oh, there we go. It's X. Ooh. I like this map layout. Or not map layout. I do like the map layout, though. I like this, uh... Menu layout. I can apparently toggle running shoes with Z. Can't use them indoors, though. That would just be insane. Dude, my aunt is old. Chaos, sweetie. Today's your big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glum seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do more so that I could support us both. But we both know that you're ready for this. This you and that boy, Theo. I can't read. Always following in your footsteps, that one. I forgot how much reading you have to do in Pokemon games. You've always been so capable, but I wonder about him. He is younger, after all. I'm sure his father Cameron wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Wait, Cameron? I know that guy. What's what's my present? The what? <laughs> the running shoes that I already used. Sniffle. Oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you, too, and I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. 
Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer ahead of that nice professor man for me, will you? And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Will do. Good luck, sweetie. Alright, sweet. Oh, I... Okay. So you can run indoors. I just had to actually get them first. Moki Town. This is a nice place. By the way, I'm going to be doing these videos a little bit differently. I'm thinking I'm going to do... Uh, what the heck are you? Chin Chin. Interesting. I think I'm going to do uh, 20 minutes instead of the normal 15 minutes and make them three, parter, uh, three parts for a session instead of four. So I'm going to do that instead, I feel like. Try something a little different. I do this every now and then with a playthrough where I mix up the times a bit and do it slightly different than the usual. Professor Bembo has a lab in that house on the cliff. I wonder why he lives in Moki Town of all places. But uh, that's, that's the timetable I used for Pokemon Omega Ruby. So I'm going to use it for this as well. Uh, this was my house, I believe. Where is... What are you doing, old-timer? So you're going to be the big breadwinner now, eh, Chaos? I should pop by to visit your auntie now and again. <laughs> oh, 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 that's, uh... I understand what you're saying. I get what you're laying down there, buddy. What the heck are these things? I'm so excited to meet all these new Pokemon. Hey, wait up! The way they use the text in this game is great. You look like Alder, son. Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen. Because I'm going to get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, Chaos. Don't tell me how to live my life. You better not be like Barry. How's it going, dude? Hey, if it isn't Chaos and uh, your friend, Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo. Theo. Right, right, Theo. You're just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. It's your first day at work as field research assistants at Bambo Pokemon Research Labs. Your job will have you traveling across Tandora, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters, though, you both will take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Excuse me? What test? Test? I didn't study for any test. By the way, how young is Theo? He looks smaller than me. I thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. Now, now, don't worry. It's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon Trainer you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. A starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner, so it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking. I want to get my Pokemon. Sheesh, kid. You're not very patient, are you? All right. If you want to know more about what's on the test before we begin, you can talk to my aide. Now? Chaos, are you ready to take the trainer aptitude test? Maybe I should talk to this guy first. That's all right. Take your time. Yeah, but not too long, all right? Music suddenly changed. The Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test sorts trainers into three basic types. Defensive, Offensive, and Balanced. And I'm guessing that decides your type because Defensive is green, Offensive is red, and Balanced is blue. So that's going to be uh, Grass, Fire, Water. The Professor will then give you a starter Pokemon that best fits your battling style. Defensive trainers receive the Grass Pokemon or Chinks. Or Chinks. I can't talk. It's gentle, hardy, and easy to raise. Offensive trainers receive the Fire Pokemon Rap Torch. Uh, it's strong and speedy, but can be hard to control. And Balanced Trainers receive the water Pokemon, Electux. That sounds water electric. It's calm, collected nature, allows it to adapt to any situation. Choose carefully, a starter is your main partner on your journey. Uh, well, we'll probably end up getting fire or water, because I'm more into offense or balance, as opposed to defense. Let's do it. Excellent, so without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your first reaction? Attack it right away, wait and see what it does, throw a Pokeball at it. I actually don't know what the starters even look like, so uh, I honestly have no idea which one I want. I guess I just... Uh, I normally attack first, yeah. Gotta weaken the Pokemon before you can catch it. Very good, both of you. Come on, that was easy, give me a tougher one. Okay, next question then. Which of these TMs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Hyper Beam, Protect, or Hidden Power? Hyper Beam is Hyper Beam is a horrible move. Uh, hidden power, I guess, because it can be more versatile, depending. Hey, Professor, what's a TM anyway? Yeah, I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which one of the following Pokemon would win in an all-out battle? I mean, between these three? Probably Ampharos, if it had HP Ice. I mean, out of these three, I like Gyarados more, so Gyarados. Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now, this is your final question, so answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Becoming the very uh, best, exploring the region, making new friends. What happens? I've answered two red and one blue. What happens if I choose two blue, two red? I'm going to do that. Making new friends. I, I don't really care for any of these three reasons. 
No question about it, I'm gonna be a Pokemon master, and nobody's gonna stand in my way. Haha, <laughs> I dig your spirit, kid. Well, that's it for the trainer aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results. I did even on both sides. Okay, I finished my analysis. Do I just get to pick anyways? Chaos. You seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate to go for what you want. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. It's going to give me the red one. The saying, the best defense is a good offense, is probably your mantra. Ah, kind of. You have a burning spirit within you that never ceases. For an offensive trainer like you, Rap Torch is the best pick. Dude, this thing looks sick. Look at this guy. So that means my rival is going to get the water one that I almost got. Go ahead and take it, Chaos. Oh, I will. That's an interesting way to decide how you get your starter. I'm not sure how I feel about it, honestly. I mean, obviously, you can uh, meld your options to whatever you want because you can. it gives you the color coding. So you're like, oh, I want fire. Just pick all the red answers. But at the same time, you don't get to see the Pokemon beforehand unless you, like, look it up or something. So, I don't know. It's interesting. Would you like to give a nickname? I'm horrible at nicknames, and this is a new region, so I actually want to see each of the Pokemon's actual names. So I'm going to say no. Hey, I'm tired of waiting. Dude, I hate this guy. Chaos got their starter already. <laughs> when do I get mine? They use their in case you choose male or female. That's clever. I'm done analyzing your results, Theo. Hmm. What do you get? Theo? Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and care mostly about your own desires. But I sense something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness? The potential to transform yourself completely? Or maybe it's just that you're so young I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you, Ordenchix is the best pick. Wait, he got the grass one. Oh, now this I like. I've got the type advantage for the first time in history. I'm a fan. Yes, my first Pokemon. So no one gets the water one, then. Chaos, you have a Pokemon, and now I have a Pokemon, too. You know what this means, right? We go about our separate ways and continue to enjoy life. We have to battle. Oh, please, not in the lab. All right, Theo, let's do this. I already don't like this kid. He looks like a douche. Dude, look at that thing. That's pretty cool. Dude, but Raptorch is sick. Look at this guy. Oh, dude, look at how you... I love this. This is so good. Burn him. I don't know why I already have a fire type move, but okay. On the health bar? Dude, they put a lot of work into this game. I am appreciating it. This looks beautiful. Give me my 75 EXP. I didn't even get a level up. You suck, Theo. What? But, but I was supposed to win. But how? I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever. You're such an idiot. That's an impossible. Good trainers never lose. I, I, yeah. Please don't cry, Theo. Here, I'll hear I did that words. I'll heal your Pokemon for you. I need a drink of water. Been reading too much. I wanted to be an unbeatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really, really wanted to win. It's because I had type advantage, dude. Well, between your starter and chaoses, theirs has the type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. And there's tons of other types in there, but we're not going to talk about that. That's the elemental type triangle. Well, one of them at any rate. Learning to master type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. No way, I want a do-over. How come Chaos gets the better starter? Ah, it isn't fair. I'm going home. See you later, sucker. This music is, like, really, really, uh, dramatic. Ha, ah, he took that harder than I hoped. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He is just a kid, after all. I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. I'm going out to the entrance to Route 01 by the edge of town. Bring Theo, and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, Chaos. I like this whole him getting the weaker type. Dude, look, you can actually see the guy right there. Oh, I bet that right there is the water starter, and then down there is the grass one. Okay, cool. I didn't even notice that when I first got here. 